lipstick. You know, I'm not going anywhere, but why not? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and my air dried big hair. This is why I don't go out of the house with air dried hair. I'm so jealous of people that do. But I'm gonna show you how I cut my own hair. So this is gonna be for people who have medium or long hair who are looking for just a quick trim because they can't get in to see their amazing hair people. Okay, so this is just how I'm gonna trim up my hair. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and let's do this. All right, so here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a flat iron. And you're going to need some kind of comb, hopefully a rat tooth comb like this, a hair clip or something to section off your hair, and some scissors that can cut a straight edge. You know, look, not the dull scissors that like will curve your hair as you try and cut it. Okay, so then what I do, and this is how I do this to make sure that I am not missing any sections or any pieces. It is not a science. If my daughter is watching who does hair, she's probably looking out. But this is for people who can't get any in anywhere and they're just got like major split ends and stuff. So I part my hair down the side that I normally part it, clip up the top half at least or possibly two thirds and then I'm gonna go in the back, go straight down and just separate it on each side, okay? Then I'm gonna take this section, let's start over here. Make sure it's really nicely smoothed out. I already have a flat iron uh, protector, hair protectant in my hair, so. But I'm just gonna take a little section here, about an inch or so, and I'm gonna flat iron my hair totally straight, okay? So we're gonna take it down. I've got this flat iron on 380, but whatever you need to get it straight, straight down to where I have a nice straight edge. You can see I already cut a piece before I started here, um, just to see if I could get it on camera. But what you're gonna do is then take that piece that was straightened and go all the way down to where you want to cut off that dead end there. I'm just doing about an inch and straight across. Now the reason I do it with a flat iron is so I don't miss any spots because as you can see, my hair is very frizzy and a bit wavy before it's flat ironed. So I know that when I'm done flat ironing, I have not missed any spots. Okay, so we take the comb, we take the flat iron, we go down totally straight, and then you take that same section, make sure it's on camera here, take the same section and just cut straight. Then you have a nice straight cut, okay? So I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way around my head in these little sections and trim it off. It is not intended for somebody that has an intricate or complicated cut. It's not intended for somebody that's doing layering unless you already have layering and then you can just sort of gauge how you're doing it. Um, it's really just a simple way of making sure that you are not um, missing any spots and that it's relatively even all the way around. I'm not going to guarantee that this is perfection okay you need to see your hair person as soon as you can get back in but if you just can't make it because it is just so uh, dried out or split at the ends or whatever it won't curl anymore that kind of stuff because it's just been too long um, then this is just kind of an easy way of doing it Um, so that you can survive. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up and then once I am done, try not to burn myself while I'm looking in the camera. Once I'm done, I'll come back and show you the final product, okay? Now 
this isn't professional. I am not a professional. I am not claiming to be a professional. I don't need all the professionals commenting in the comments that this is the horrible wrong way to do it. I am cutting these at a little bit of an angle to get a little bit in here. But I understand I am not a professional. This is for people who can't get in anywhere or can't afford it and just have to do a quick fix, okay? It's not intended to replace your professional stylist, okay? So I know it's not technical. Okay. No, it's not technically accurate. Just saying it works in a pinch. If you are watching this in the Inland Empire area, Riverside, Yukaipa, Redlands, especially Redlands, Moreno Valley, Corona. Go see my daughter. When it's open. <laughs> the salon's not open right now. She's at Rooted Salon, R-O-O-T-E-D, in Redlands. Her name is Megan. You can book an appointment. She's awesome. She specializes in color and highlights, but she can also cut hair. And that's what people are probably gonna need. Gray coverage, root coverage. Hey. Hi, you're on camera. How are you? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> you really need to get that sign set up. Get out, I'm filming. That's the sign. I need my haircut. Well, I'm teaching people how to cut their hair at home. Well, okay, again, this is for somebody that has medium length to long and doesn't need a really specific uh, style, so. But I would love, who, you know, comment below if you want me to try and cut my husband's hair on camera. Would you let me? <laughs> crickets, crickets. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Come on, it's for the people. Well, it's going to be public anyway, so why not? <laughs> it's not going to be public. It's quarantine. No one's going to see you. Well, they see me plenty on Zoom. That's true. Zoom calls and webinars. Whew. That's true. Oh, good. I guess we're going to have to uh, edit out the toilet flushing. You don't have any sound at this point. It's probably just music. Uh, no, I do. I was talking. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. I was telling them about our daughter's salon in Redlands and that they should, once this is over, book with her. You're going to clip in that guy that self gave him, um, gave himself bowl haircut. Oh, did you see that thing that I posted? That yeah. was hilarious. Bad. So bad. Bye. Bye. We're all at home, you know, there's no privacy. There's no getting away to film something in private. None. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Now I have my daughter playing piano in the next room. This quarantine gig is getting old. <sighs> you guys, is this what your life is like? Noise, noise, noise. Noise, 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 noise. All right. There's the one side. I'll do the other side on camera and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I'm back now. I don't love my hair stick straight and I wouldn't normally do it like this, but just to show you, um, I do have layers in my hair, so I kind of kept those just by cutting off an inch, half an inch to an inch of each piece. Um, but 
It's pretty straight, it's not perfect, it's pretty good. This would get me through to when I need to go and see someone in six or eight weeks. So give it a try, you know, just cut a tiny, tiny bit off each time you do it so that you're not actually altering your haircut. And then what you can do at the very end is pull it like I did here and just kind of go across if you feel like you just need to kind of just even out a little bit at the bottom. Other than that, it was just one pass with the flat iron and cut it. Okay, and this is the result. And it looks healthier and better than it did an hour ago. Okay, it didn't take me very long at all. Actually, it was about 20 minutes. So um, give it a whirl. Give it a thumbs up if this has helped you and share it with anybody who you think might need to get a little bit of haircut going on while we're stuck at home. It also gives you something to do. So yay for that. And keep in mind that if you butcher your hair and don't like it, no one's gonna see it anyway. So win win. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos just like this one. Otherwise, I hope you're having a great day. Stay inspired and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.